Find functional hilarity at the Pop Roast Emporium. Sound check, sound check. I'm not Jennifer Williams today. Really? I'm going to project this entire... I'm going to try to keep up with you. I'm going to try to keep up with you and stay in this tone. It's going to be hard, but I'm going to try. Can you hear me? I can. Another week... Of 50 cents bullshit. Really? Again? Well, this time... Oh, my God. What now? He pulled something that I'm actually pleased with. He's thinking about extending power for another season. I've never watched power. Ever. You are missing out on a great show. Like, it really I heard is it's good. Show. It's like, you know, a, a good version of Empire. It has nothing to do with Empire. Like, I don't know why people compare the two. They're both set in New York. That is where the similarities <laughs> end. Like, okay. one and is Lala's about... And Lala's in it? And Lala can act? Is Lala been... is acting, and she's very good. Nachuri is a tour de force. Really? She really is. I think Lil' Kim will disagree with you. What? You never... You didn't see the movie Notorious? There was this whole <laughs> hoopla that Lil' Kim... <laughs> Hated her for portraying her oh. in that role. Because she wanted someone more light-skinned to play her. Oh. You didn't know that drama? No. No. Oh, my God. Like, that was, was this before whole I did thing. This. Oh, okay. All right. A little background. Oh, okay, fascinating. <laughs> I guess that joke went over your head then. But yeah. Right over. <laughs> completely over. Well, you are taller than me. I mean, I guess that's one stunt at that bottom, you know... That I'm, I guess I'm fine with. <laughs> Jada Pinkett Smith says she was hesitant about Jordan Woods on Red Table Talk. Wait, what? You've never called it Red Table Talk. <laughs> I was reading a headline. Oh, okay. I'm so sorry. Getting Get to, to Jada's business. business. <laughs> 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 You're like, what the hell is wrong with you? Right, I'm like... Remember when Judy Funny came out? Ba -da -da -da. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, was she talking about a thruple? We'll get to that. <laughs> I know she was talking about Jordan and like, I guess, looking back on it. Will felt like it was important for Jordan to be on Jada's business, and that's why she was on. Because he knew those girls would come for her. And he was friends with the father, so he was really like, we have to look out for her. Right. And, and I'm glad they did. And you heard what Kim said on the show. Like, she should be thankful for college. She's able to feed her family. Like, she's just some poor little black girl that they took in. Because, you know, they, they love using black people as accessories and You're stepping right. stones. You're absolutely right. Exactly. And now she has a clothing line coming out. So oh, yeah, so she's stepping on Asian people now by trying to trademark the term oh, kimono. Oh, no, Jordan, Jordan. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> cut, I was cut, like, cut, 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 <laughs> Take I was two. like, wait, Take what? Two. what? I was talking about Kim saying that she needs to feed her family, <laughs> oh. and you said you're trying to get a clothing line. <laughs> okay, take two. <laughs> so, yeah, they both are having clothing lines come out. Okay, so Jordan has a... Yes, And it's Jordan called has, Boo Hoo, right? No, it's so it was no Boo Hoo for her. That's what I was saying. Like, she's winning. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm here for it. It's so crazy how that narrative just turned because of Jada, you know? That's the, that's the first time I think that's happened with the Kardashian machine. That somebody was able to turn it on its head? Right. Because they think they're unstoppable. Those girls. Well, for the most part, they don't deal with anybody that, you know, can fight for themselves. And exactly. So that's why Will was like, uh-uh, you have an Emmy-winning platform. And they don't. Was Will Smith like her pretend dad or something? No, that was her dad's best friend, and then her dad passed. And oh, so they okay. kind of raised like, her, and that's how she got to know the Kardashians. Okay, uh, Jaleel White to reprise Steve Urkel character on Scooby Doo spinoff. Um, what? I don't wait, think... wait, wait! Did you hear that sentence? Let me say that again. Jaleel White to reprise Steve Urkel character on Scooby Doo spinoff. Now, when did those two universes get together? Uh, I mean, I don't think. People who were born after 2000 know who Jaleel White is. 
Yeah. I'm pretty like it'll be even. They don't know who Scooby Doo is either. I don't even think they know who Steve Urkel <laughs> is, honestly. Nope. So I'm just thinking, does the audience want this that knows who they are? Because they're in their 40s. That audience. I'm Nobody not shading in myself. Here is 40. No, I'm just saying like that's like generation like X and Y. You didn't watch Scooby Doo. I did, and I thought it was boring. Like, I did like it when they did the newer ones, and they did the movie on Cartoon Network where they went to New Orleans. That was a good one. Remember? Oh, I do like, remember. That was a good movie. Quote, it was a good one. That's why I actually enjoyed that one. I like the one. new one. I like the old ones, too. I like the old ones. It was too... The old ones were scary to me. Really? I was much younger. I, mean, I love the Hanna-Barbera cartoons, but I just never liked Scooby-Doo. Okay. Then again, you don't like dogs. Or children. Okay. Or people. <laughs> yeah, that's a really good question. Do they want this? I don't know. I don't think so. I think it's going to fail miserably. Wait, like a what? Like a Sheree Whitfield line. <laughs> but there's never been a line to fail. True. Your line can't fail if it's never come out. All right, like, it'll fail like her attempt at getting a house in her name. Now that, that is a failed attempt. Okay. And speaking of failed attempts, Aisha Curry is now begging people to hack her husband's phone because she said she sends him nudes all the time. Who does she tell this to? During a recent interview, Aisha confirmed her naughty habit brings her a bit of anxiety. I send hundreds of them, and he won't delete them off his phone, and he's not secure with his phone, so it's actually one of the scariest Who things in my life. Who wants to know this, and why is she, like, letting people interview her? Why are you I telling us I think she wants to be famous. This? I think she's going to she be... She is a, famous! No, she wants to be, like, more famous. That husband going to leave you. These type of antics start, like, are going to start like, putting uh, cracks in your relationship, or maybe there are some to begin with. So we're coming up... Something's going on in that house. So I'm going to predict now, she's going to get a reality show. Oh, God. And we're going to have a, a, a segment called That's So Raven. But you mean where we gaze into the future yes. and see trouble from a distance? Don't we have something for that? We do have something for that. Oh, my God. Now, on the last episode of Pop Roast, we talked about... Nicki Minaj's album being number one. Well, single. She doesn't have an album. Yet. I'm sorry. Single. Megatron being number one. It was number one last week, Saturday. It came out Friday. Oh, we we filmed Saturday? We did. Oh, wow. The week passed by so fast. So fast. So it was number one Saturday. Saturday. Okay. All right. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Today is Thursday. Five days later... What's the position on the chart? Now, yesterday, it was number 16. 16. 16, okay. You know what? Last night, last night it was 21. Oh. But today it was 18. I think um, the direct deposits hit the barbs. A little early. A little early. I'm not sure because it's Pride Weekend or something like that. Oh, they using them earning apps. That's what happened. <laughs> mm -hmm. So it's 18 now. Oh, okay. Number 18. Number 18. So it's still top 20. Still top 20. I mean, it only fell but this is day positions five. in five days. But the thing is, like... He I'm, gazed into the future and saw a flop from a distance. And it's not hating if it's facts. We're just noticing the trends I got DMs in pop calling me a hating ass black man. I, yeah, I saw that. I saw that. That was too much. Too much. This is just, it's a fact. Now, here's the thing. If it had stayed number one all week, we would have said, you know what? We were wrong. Right. We gazed into the future, but we didn't see the hit. Right there. You were talking about Remy Ma one time, and she was, she was dropped. She was dropped from the label. Dropped. <laughs> dropped. <laughs> I'm not sure if it was Remy, but it was something. <laughs> Some like somebody. Sissy oh, Small. Yeah, it, was. it was Sissy Small. Yay, he who. Mug now available on our Teespring. It was Sissy Small. Yay, he who. Where I kept saying he was dropped, dropped from his label, dropped, Drop. dropped, because the people kept trying to make him a singer, and the label had to drop, drop, drop. They had to stop, drop, and roll that ass. 
since we're on Nicki Minaj, we can talk about Meg the Stallion, that horse girl. Oh, that backlash that she had just because she named her top five and, and Nicki, Nicki wasn't, wasn't on it? I mean, she's oh not on mine. Oh, my God. Why, why? Can't she just have an opinion? And who were the five? <laughs> she gave you four <laughs> that she actually want to work with. She's like, we could sell an album. You know, I ain't never going to work with Nicki. Right, exactly. I mean, I could just put Left Eye on there. To be real, Left Eye's verse on, um, she was you know incredible. what's up. She was absolutely incredible. It's just and leaves you in a class with scrubs forever rising. <laughs> I don't mind surprise, but if you don't have the cheese, please. Okay, anyway, I don't want to get your um, page shut down before I say the whole lyrics. <sighs> what do you think? I love the list. I think the it's list fair. is appropriate. Yep. Like, how am I going to get mad? That's like if I get mad if someone doesn't put Beyonce on their greatest singers list or great performers list. Everyone has a different opinion. Like, my hair looks fucked up right now, but you have a different opinion and think it looks great. Well, I mean, you brushed it and that, you're right. You're exactly. right. Exactly. So, it is what it is. I actually did post a video on my Throwback Thursday of the bars because when I used to like Nicki Minaj, when Pink Print came out, like, for some reason I had access to an interview that she had at an undisclosed location. And it was filled with barbs. I was surrounded. And the interviewer was trying to interview her or whatever, but they interrupted the interview seven to ten times because they kept reciting Nikki verses in between the interview. I posted it on my um, Instagram story. Oh. But I just realized, like, she really has an annoying fan base. Yes. <laughs> anyway. Especially the annoying fan base that'll step into my DMs and tell me about my opinion of someone. On your show. On my show. Oh, my God. It's my show. I totally forgot about that. On your channel, though. Well, it really doesn't matter as <laughs> long as we get paid. That's a good point. You know, Oh, God. Money. What did you think about the BET Awards and... You know what? I thought it was the best BET Awards I've seen in a while. And I, haven't, I didn't see the whole thing, but from the clips I saw, I was like, okay... It's going in the right direction. Um, I enjoyed Cardi's performance. I didn't know Offset could dance like that, but I heard he was a dancer back in the day. Um, I enjoyed Lizzo's performance and the Mary tribute. I loved it. We didn't get anybody, like Mary J. Mary J. Blige was like, I'm gonna tribute myself. I ain't and, gonna let y'all fuck it up. Exactly. and. I forgot all those hits she had. Like, it was just one to one to one to one. I was just like, oh my God. It was 30 years of hits, the soundtrack now, of our remember I Icon and Legend? Mary J. Blige, I can say she's a legend. Okay. She started a genre. Yeah, all right. She started a genre. I didn't watch the whole thing, but I think it was, it was in the right direction. They even got Rihanna to show up. And they made sure to keep the camera on Rihanna to make sure people didn't change the channel. <laughs> so. Sure didn't perform. And it was though. better than the MTV movie. I mean, MTV Music Awards. It was better than that. I didn't watch. You didn't watch what? The MTV Music. Oh, yeah. It's been terrible lately. Stevie J and Faith Evans aren't following each other on social media anymore. Do you think that the marriage might be on the rocks? Um, I don't care, <laughs> but, um, this, <laughs> was, this was for a plot line. Because <laughs> everyone who is employed by Mona, what is it, Mona Heffa-Scott? Uh, Heffa-Scott Heffa Scott Young. Young. Okay, everyone that's employed by Heffa-Scott Young has a level of desperation that is truly gargantuan. <laughs> and with a gargantuan level of desperation... You will do things like have a baby or have a false wedding, you know, like everything just to get a check. A spinoff. <sighs> yes. Because, I mean, I don't know, like, music ain't really selling these days. You got to get out there and tour, and people are kind of getting over the nostalgia tour, so I don't know what, I don't know what Faith's doing for a coin either. So I right. could see some type of new show or spinoff, some type of 
We TV pizza delivery. I just thought that this was below Faith Evans in the beginning, but I know that her and Stevie J had history because Stevie J did most of the production in the 90s with Puffy. And Puffy took all the credit. Quiet, and the money? Quiet as it's kept. Yes, Puffy took everyone's money, actually. It's surprised he isn't revered as an asshole now these days. <laughs> mm. But people forget about that. Not the people who are still poor. T. Um, speaking of loving hip hop, what's going on with this Cameron and Juju thing? Because I don't follow neither of them. But it was a very petty video that I saw. The song in the background that was playing was Lonely Girl. Oh, okay, so like two years ago, Cameron broke up with Juju and he kind of broke up with her for no reason. And everybody was like mad at him for breaking up with her for no reason. But I mean, like, if it's not working, it's not working. Like, that's just what it is. If it's not there anymore, leave it alone. Mm -hmm. And it's time to move on. Why stay in a relationship where nobody's going to be happy? So they moved on. She definitely used that as her plot line for Love and Hip Hop for two seasons. And it's like, okay, that, that's boring, and so are you. Spice it up. I see Did why she I fight it all? Um, she had, Did like, she a few... any skirmishes? No skirmishes. But he said the reason why he broke up with her because he want, she wanted to fight somebody. Not on the show. Oh, okay. Okay, so... But that's the bread and butter, the fight on the show. No. Um, well, that depends on what character you want to give. There are some characters they don't want fighting on the show. They want some that are class and some that are trash. Okay. Like, you're not going to have trash like Mariah Lynn not get into a skirmish, but you don't want, like, your, your gurus, like the people that they come to for advice, you don't want them throwing bottles, too. Okay. But he did this video on... Insta, Insta snap or something and he said I didn't break up with you because it wasn't fun or anything like that I broke up with you because you kept threatening to beat up one of my co-workers for unfollowing you <laughs> what I don't really see her as a threat like that he goes on maybe I'm a little old but I'm too old to beat up somebody or see somebody getting beat up who brings me $300,000 a year for unfollowing you I couldn't take it anymore because of the Instagram. Follow this person. Follow that person. You know what I would say? Halle Berry is chronically single. Um, Let's not put Juju on that level. Juju's pretty. Juju I mean that level pretty. of stardom. No, but I just feel like there are certain beautiful women. They're, you're, they're always single and you wonder why. And then you hear shit like this and it's like, oh, now I understand. Oh, okay. There's there's a T. All right. A tick, you're just tick, bringing boom, her up tea. as like an example. Yes. Because I'm like, you're bringing up the sun and you're talking about a crumb of an asteroid. <laughs> anyway. You know we had a marvelous time, but it was more interfering with my business. And it looked like you had more control over my business than I did. I have no problem with you. I got you on Love and Hip Hop. I helped you get Candy Jewel's hair. I negotiated the best first time person on Love and Hip Hop, your contract. I got you that money and you're still on for two or three seasons and I'm happy for you. I supported you when you got your butt done. Your butt, now you see, now you're telling the business. Now you're telling the business. Didn't she say he couldn't read or something? Out, well he reading today. <laughs> That's shade, though, right? <laughs> Hair, laser, remove everything. I love you. Oh, my God. Who he petty for this? I mean, I, I feel like this is what happens when you have two petty people on Mad Day. <laughs> and I definitely think he was right for leaving the relationship because you can see with them doing this over social media, they didn't need to be together. Well, this would be a nice plot line for her to stay on New York. Oh, God. Which is still terrible. No, it's not. That, she, she ain't helping shit. Okay. Oh, you never told me what you thought about Old Town Road, though. Old Town Road? The like, song. Yeah, I like it. Like, really? I, yeah, I, it's surprising that I like it, but it's like a really good, it's just really catchy. Really? Yeah. Okay. All right, so uh, did you see Black China's hairdo? At the BET Awards? 
I didn't see Black China at the BET Awards. Oh, let's let's talk about the unit, right? Let's Quinn. talk about the unit. Oh, what the hell? Oh, you know, I've been seeing that. I can never recognize her because everybody looks so fucking like, oh my God, what in the nasty beehive hell? That shit looks like a nest. I think she was- There's something growing in there. I think she was going for a Dolly Parton tee. I mean, the dress is nice. No, it's not. I tried. That dress is cheap. But this is and just so really is she. weird. I mean, yeah. Ooh, ooh. It's, it's cheap. It's porny. It's just... Porny. Oh, my mm. goodness. I mean, that is the worst look. It's a look. little clownish. The worst look. It's a like, little clownish? And there's roses in the back. To feed the insects that are living in there, no doubt. That looks like a, uh, like a bird's foot. <laughs> it does. Her hands look like talons. Those nails are not the look, dear. If you haven't seen the Cardi video press, watch it. And either you'll know why we like her or you'll agree to disagree. We're not even gonna go on and on. We're gonna let you look at the video and then you'll understand. But I love the video. And that's, that is a resounding like explanation. <laughs> Like, from you. I'm just saying, like, if you like it, then it was A1. Like, that was thought put into. It was detailed. The choreo was tight. That should have been a fucking short film submitted for the Oscars. I mean, it was amazing. Yeah. Like, It made Rob, me like the song. I am, I am blown away. And that's what the point of videos were back in the day. Ooh. Is to make a song that compliments, I mean, make a video that compliments the song. It told a story. I mean, the actors, everybody was amazing. Right, and then it was more so like, uh, what do you call it, like, life imitates art or art imitates life? Yes. Something like that. But yeah, it was good. Like, when she put her leg in the tail, I was like, like. Giving you basic instinct tea. I was just like, wow, the looks. <laughs> the looks, from new to very, very high fashion. And just who would have thought? Like, just who would have thought she could pop lock it like that? I was like, that Corey, I, you were right. That choreography was Beyonce level. I was like, them heifers was in formation. Like, she works hard. Like, you just can't knock the girl's hustle. You really can. You gotta respect it. Like, you got people that were in the game ten years, ten years, not giving you any kind of original that don't visual have like any that. type of visual. The on Boarding. It was just incredible. And I mean, also, I want to shout out all the actors that were in that video because the actors, the dancers, everybody was on point. I mean, that guy, when she was grabbing his tie and he was shouting and she was shouting, it was so real. <laughs> and it must be real. <laughs> and one more thing. Like, um, Cardi said that in the beginning, like, Lady Gaga was her influence. And this was like, paparazzi video mm. that dark gritty but still right. clear shot i was like did jonas akerlin direct this she co-directed it no no um cardi co-directed it right. with somebody else but cardi co-directed that wow. video mm -hmm. directing credit too Ooh. a true el feast well, that's what grammy winners do i guess <laughs> it is it is moving on you want to get to reality, more reality TV? Let's talk about that interview with yeah. Nene. Because I didn't so, see it. Did you see it? Yeah, I saw, I saw bits okay. and pieces of it. just saw clips. And she was just so smug in the interview. Where you heard that from? We, I listened to the blogs. Yeah, they, they just be saying stuff. You know, It was just really smug, you know? And then she's like, where did you hear that? It was just a lot of that. I mean, but there is kind of a point. Where did you hear that? Where are you getting this? Y'all just be pulling shit out of thin air. I'm thinking that, like, Bravo just has someone that purposely leaks shit that can be factual. I think the blogs be making shit up. I make shit uh, up all the time, except y'all know I'm joking. I think a lot of people just make shit up and pass it off as the truth. They throw it allegedly in front of it. <laughs> I think this happened, so I'm gonna just put it out there and, and make it look like I'm not saying well, I think, but I am kind of saying I think. Well, she's sticking to her story that, you know, um, her contract or something is still like being negotiated or whatever, but 
I think she had to sit out. She's saying she wasn't suspended or anything like that. But she did chime in later in the interview. She was like, it's going to start out a little different this season. Because I'm sure it's not going to be with her in it. <laughs> so that was the real <laughs> tea to listen for. Uh, but she's not getting a spinoff. But thank God, because I can't think of what would the spinoff be about. It would be about her um, stores. It would be Vanderpump Rules with fucked up fashions. Mm -mm. I don't care about that. It would be about smart. The Kardashians sales. did it with Dash, and that shit was boring as fuck. I wish Candy's um restaurant would have did it, but Pink Teacup already beat them to it. And I don't think Child, she don't her. nobody want to watch Pink Teacup. Please, I stopped. Show. I stopped reviewing that mid season. I just deleted it off the DVR with the firm "fuck you" and good riddance. I canceled the series. So that's how you think Nene's season is gonna start without her in it. Without her in it. <laughs> I agree. I I could definitely see it. Hopefully, you know they do get someone that you know shakes up the cast a little bit. But then you know Kenya is still Kenya, and you know she's messy. So I feel like she'll bring the drama if she needs to. And she will. I can't wait she... to see if she's likable this season. Uh, Kenya will never be likable on this show. I'm going to enjoy what drama she brings because I think like Shekinah said about Carly Red, you like to be messy. And when you're not being messy, you're depressed. Omarosa is getting sued by the Justice Department to the tune of $50,000. I was hoping you would have said fifty million, so I don't think you're from her anymore. <laughs> ah, her ass ah, is locked up. The heifer failed to file a financial disclosure report after being fired from the White House. Apparently, when one is employed by the government, you're required to do so, and they want their fifty thousand dollar penalty. <laughs> I'm sure, like she got it. Yes, yeah, she got it. That's a speaking engagement, right? For her. Exactly. And and somebody's hiring her. I don't know why. That's, I just wanted to ask you, um. What reality show person would this bird be? Okay. And could you put it in the background? Sure. Oof. What I reality immediately see Deb Atney. <laughs> <laughs> but I also see Kirk. Um, it's like one of those Rorschach photos. Like, let me just look at it for a minute. I could see Kirk. Benzino, because the neck is, is obscured. <laughs> um... That is, wait, that last one was Rich Dollars. Carly Red. That's Carly Red. yeah. Send me that one immediately. <laughs> name that bird. What's the bird we're going to name that bird? Oh, my God, another segment. You, <laughs> you are a machine. <laughs> that is another segment. Oh, my God. That is brilliant. <sighs> this bird. Honey, we could have a whole avian hour. <laughs> right. <laughs> that could be its own show, actually. We just picked three birds. That's a 15-minute show. That's another check. The avian hour. <laughs> you know what? We might have to do that one time. I'm going to pick three Every birds. Every reunion, we'll pick some birds, and we'll do the avian hour reunion review. Because they sure do come on there with their feathers fluffed. Wendy wants to move the show to Los Angeles. Oh, I think I told you, like, I'm I'm for it. Even though I won't be able to go anymore, but I think she wants to get as far away from Kevin as possible. I think it'll be a fresh look for the show, and I think she'll have more celebrity guests because more celebrities live in L.A. You know, that's a And good you point. hate New... Well, you don't hate New York, but you hate, like, the transportation getting to New York and everything getting around New York. I think in L.A., it'll be easier for her to, like maneuver to get to the show. Because you know she says she drives from New Jersey to the show. Well, I wonder where her studio is going to be in relation to her house, because she's going to have to drive up four or five hundred miles to the top of a hill. Well, she'll have a And then get eaten do by it. a coyote. <laughs> I don't know how y'all do it. And I didn't even see any coyotes, but I knew they were there. Well, we didn't go to, um... Because that's why they got that fenced-in park where we were, so that the coyotes couldn't get you. Black China met with Love & Hip Hop producers. She declined their offer, wanted more money, and her own spinoff. Wow, someone declined Mona Scott Young? Oh, my God. You know what? We may agree to disagree about, you know, you never being around them babies. 
Ooh, you saved yourself a lifetime of heartache, pain, and pennies. Pennies. You're like, I'm sorry, I fucked a Kardashian. You ain't talking to me unless you're talking millions. Chicken gift card. I think she's a little bit above a chicken gift card. She is. She just asserted to the universe she was worth more. She said, oh, no, 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 no. We're not even putting that in my sphere of energy. We're, we're not even talking about these paltry $1,000 checks and these sides that you keep mentioning. I, I don't know what you're talking about. I get paid in dollars, dear. Dollars. She was open to do the show with the goal to get her own spinoff, but the compensation wasn't enough. That's when she ended up doing you can't go Rob from, in China. You can't go from E money. Well, she did Ooh, that yeah. before. E money or Bravo money, whoever. Yeah, compared to a Mona Scott Young check. <laughs> she was like, no, no, you're cutting me in. These other people, they don't have anything else going for them, so you're able to take advantage and offer them the tiny carrot you do. Well, you know Ray J fucked the Kardashians, so, I mean, he's on Love & Hip Hop. He's on Hollywood as the lead. I think he actually gets paid. Okay. And if you notice, he had, like, a few seasons of mess, and now he's on his burst. Like, all, it's all business promotion. And okay. I bet you they ain't getting a slice. <laughs> In good news, Serena Williams is the second black woman to appear on the Wheaties box. Just the second? Yep. What? Althea Gibson was the first. Damn. Another tennis player. Oh, okay. Um, they need to make Wheaties with raisins. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, that was... Oh my God. Raisins in anything is not good. <laughs> Raisins. That was the funniest face I've ever seen in my life. On that note, wow. Um, no, I don't I like didn't... raisins. Damn, like that? I might have to watch that back. <laughs> you really gotta have to watch that back, because it was. <laughs> It was like, I look when you say, let's go to Atlanta. <laughs> but like times 10. It was like a visceral reaction. Or well, like you when like, and I'm saying like, oh, let's say coach. <laughs> In other good news, Meek Mill is now co-owner of the brand Lids. Wow. Is that not That's a fucking really... come up? That's like, you ain't got to worry about music no more. Good for him. I mean, I just I did not like Meek Mill at all. I'm guessing he's just doing a good turnaround. I mean, that's what happens, you know, when growth happens. You growth. know, because this is growth. Not everyone can grow in their career. Not They'll everybody. be stuck in, you know, the same rut. Like the same oh, the rut. Same rut. And their fan base don't care. They'll just, you know, encourage that rut and they'll stay in that rut. <laughs> but enough about Beyonce. <laughs> Oh, we got a little bit more of Jada's business. Actually, now it's Willow's business. Willow thinks of herself as sexually fluid and is interested in polyamory. <laughs> Isn't she 18? Yep. At 18, 18, it is odd, because it's like you ain't had a long-term relationship or two to even know. Right. No, come back to me at 30 or something. Exactly, when it's like, okay, I know what's going to work for me or, and what's not because I've actually been doing it for a minute on my own. She was on the internet one day and was like, oh, I, I think I'm going to like this. I'm going to talk <laughs> about it on Jada's business. Mama's business. Mama's business. <laughs> She's trying to keep up with her mama. She's like, well, shit, I got to right. get some business. It's going to get to a point where we're just going to be like, stop, please. It's too much. Basketball Wives, the season premiere. Um, underwhelming. Really? I gotta say underwhelming. Let's just go down the line. Evelyn, I'm glad they're showing her kid. I think you mentioned that. It's nice to see her as like a mother figure. It makes her more likable. I think she's down with the shit this season. Um, Jennifer... I don't mind her that much. Like, we need a charade of basketball wives. But 
I don't want to see her as the focal punching bag. Like, I want to see other drama, too, amongst the women. I want to see Jackie be a mess. <laughs> like, I don't, like, yes, she's an odd woman who says <laughs> odd things for a soundbite. <laughs> But I want to see her with the shit. I want to see her beefing with someone. And she's not beefing with anybody. And that's why she's on the show. Same thing goes with Tammy. I want to see her beefing with someone. I don't care about your family and your slow husband. <laughs> like, I don't care. I don't care about, like, your closeted daughter and the pretty daughter. I don't care about them. Like, I want to see you, like, start shit with Evelyn. I want to see you, uh, I don't know, like, I want to see something. Um, the woman with the white lipstick. <laughs> Aja, uh, so what is her name? The woman with the white lips. I think the least likable person for me is, um, is her name Kristen? That's the one who's mad she's not invited to the wedding? Yes. I just think this, I don't care that they don't like each other. They are C-list background characters on a reality show I do not care about. Okay. I don't care about their drama at all. You don't care about Kristen and Cece's drama? No. I like the family shit, actually. I find it interesting because they're trying to get the grandfather to be, like, She's involved. not likable. I'm glad the grandfather isn't inviting her because she's <laughs> not likable. <laughs> she's such, like, a worm. Ooh. Like, she's like a worm trying to travel up Jen and Evelyn's ass. <laughs> like, I'm so tired of her. A hookworm. A what? A hookworm. Exactly. Like trying to hook herself on to be with the popular girls. Shawnee. <sighs> I don't have anything positive <sighs> to say about her. Never have. I, never I don't will. think she looks as terrible as you say, but again. It's about you have all this money. I think you she's... stole all that money from Shaq. You've been having this show for so long. You're supposed to have a shoe line. You're supposed to know fashion. You're supposed to be this fabulous housewife. You're supposed to be the queen bee, but you show up looking like king shit. I don't think she looks that bad, but she I She looks worse than Candy Burris, and that's saying something. I think they have the same style aesthetic. Cheap and unseemly. Cheap and something else. Cheap and pedestrian. Very pedestrian. I mean, they just, they don't know anything about haute couture. They don't know anything about a seam, about a fit. You can't have women like Marlo outdress you when you have... Evelyn outdresses them. Evelyn. Oh, yeah, she, she's she been I mean, hitting how, off the park. How is it that this heifer is out here giving you Erica Jane-worthy looks and you got more money than her and you show up like you're off the egg money? Off the egg, wow. What's off the egg? I never heard of that slang. Off the egg money. Like you look like you came in town off the egg money. Like you look like you just, you know, grabbed whatever was in your wallet, got on the first Greyhound bus, you know, threw on your shake and go wig and uh, grabbed something out the hamper that wasn't too dirty and, and, and got on the bus and came downtown. Okay. You out on the egg money. But what I don't like about Shawnee outside of her cheap pedestrian looks Oh, and that makeup. She needs a new makeup artist. Oh, God. I think that, like, her drama with Jen is a little bit overdone. Like, get over it. Evelyn's drama or Shawnee's drama? Shawnee's, dra Shawnee's drama with Jen. I just think it's, like, pointless. Well, all the drama's pointless, but okay. Like... She was trying to expose Jen over shit that Jen said in a time where her and Evelyn weren't fucking with each other. And of course they were going to say rude as shit things, like talking about her daughter and how she's okay, like, you who know, she's fucking and stuff. That's not she fair. Could've, she could have, yeah, she could have like, kept that to herself. I've had friends where I've beefed with them and I've said some shady, mean shit. And when we're back together, that means like, okay, well, maybe I was in a different place in my mind. Now I don't mean that. So that's not fair to bring up things I said while we were beefing. Okay. And that's the only reason why I think, like, get over it. Oh, okay. I can understand that. Um, who's else on the show? I think that's it. And if I left them out, they're not that, you know. They're not important. memorable. Right. I hope they have some good drama because... I'm, 
I'm just watching in the background as I'm frying catfish. It's catfish season. Yeah. I feel like as soon as I leave, something's gonna come up. It's Khloe okay. Kardashian's birthday. She turned 35. We'll see you sooner than I give a fuck about that. <laughs> and you can use that for the ending. Thank God, I was just thinking, what the fuck am I gonna say? <laughs> Find Functional Hilarity at the Pop Roast Emporium. <laughs>